these ones, we're going to do our own thing. I've got a pencil. Now hopefully you've got a pencil too. You can use a pen, you can use a ruler, you can use a cotton bud, whatever you want to use. Um, just make sure that it's maybe, mine isn't very sharp, so make sure it's not too sharp. Um, but I'm going to use this, and the idea is that I'm going to start experimenting with imagining that this is possessed. And what will demonstrate here is how a movement artist will start to build a sequence and how a dancer might build a sequence or, or a choreographer might build a sequence. So a movement artist will think, okay, so this is my possessed item. What is it going to do? It's going to maybe pull me somewhere. So it's pulled me here. So what does that do to the body? What did I have to do there to make it look like this is pulling me? So what it did is it, it went first, so I didn't move first. I didn't go, whoa. I let the pencil go first, and then when the pencil gets to the extremity of my body, it then pulls my body. And it makes it look like that energy is what is pulling me, instead of me going, and the pencil actually being quite inactive. We want to make the pencil as active as possible in this process. We can then sell the idea that it is leading things better.